Hello YouTube, this is Morgan Airspeed Prime here with my next Avatar news update video. This one's mostly going to be about uh, the upcoming free comic book day book for 2022. We finally have more details on it. But uh, one thing to cover just before that is, um, I think I've mentioned this on like Twitter and the podcast, but I don't think I've done it in a video. And that is just uh, this uh, exclusive edition of the uh, Dawn of Yang Chen. I covered this listing before, but it's been updated with some pictures. So obviously it was a bit weird. It was a 12 copy floor display uh, exclusive edition. What does that mean? And you can see from the pictures that like, okay, that is in fact what it is. You can see it is a full on floor display. You can see, you know, this is gonna be in a store. All the books will be there. And it says here on the poster, exclusive collector's edition featuring a limited edition wraparound poster jacket, limited quantities, available for order via floor display only. So I'm guessing that more or less means it, it's kind of like an in-store exclusive, unless some online stores are going to be ordering this in and just, you know, basically ignoring the actual display part of it and just, you know, shipping out the... Uh, the actual books but it's maybe not the most effective cost effective way to get it who knows because like we don't even know what stores are going to be stocking this um in that like um uh, <clears throat> places that will be selling this book in store will they just order the book normal book or will they go for this as like a sort of like a first run type thing who knows but you can see here they sort of show you some of this um go what's going on here uh it looks like it potentially is just a double-sided dust jacket uh, that allows for sort of like a clean cover if you have the poster on the front. And then if you do the other side, it says, you know, collector's edition, Don Fiang Chen, um, and so on. And there's a look at the actual poster itself. Um, from what I can tell, uh, I don't think anyone just directly translated it, but I, I think it is sort of like, you know, water, earth, uh, fire, air. Um, but again, I haven't really seen like a direct translation. And there's also the weirdness just about the fact that like uh, this section is on the spine of the book. Yet these three, I suppose, are on like the inner kind of uh, cover. Because you can see uh, in this picture, uh, you could see the, uh, oh, sorry. Why is that like that? Yeah. So you can see there the, the water bit, I guess, is on the, the, the back of the book. And then it would be like on the inside cover where you see the other elements. So that's kind of weird. But um yeah, it doesn't look like it's anything super crazy that the Barnes & Noble exclusive that actually has exclusive content does seem a little bit better. But for people who are super into the novels, they might want to get all of them and just be aware that this is something that you can get. It's still listed as 12th of July. Will it be available a week early? Not sure. And then one other thing to mention just here on Edelweiss is just this uh, kind of interesting uh, GIF kind of graphic that they have. Uh, just highlighting that uh, the Kyoshi novels, nearly half a million copies sold, I guess, across both of them. And then also it says here, just a second, 250,000 copy announced first printing. So they're really going for it here. If you take the what's up with the Kyoshi novels as being accurate, that means they have maybe not quite sold 250,000 copies each, but they're obviously very confident with like extra marketing that this book will. So that's kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, we are talking about the uh, Free Comic Book Day 2022 Avatar and Korra comic. So I'm starting off with this, just sort of what we knew ahead of time. So we can go into sort of the reveal of what's actually in it and highlight how sort of bad of a job of communication Dark Horse did with this. So all it says, as you can see here, Avatar and Korra, both avatars return in two all new stories from the series. Dive into, you know, just fun stuff. Doesn't say anything about the details of the story and then obviously from the cover you can see here they actually have ang on the cover and it's like oh cool i guess that means we're getting an ang focused story which is technically true but ultimately misleading because as we get the reveal here on reddit uh, earth melon 25253 got a uh, an early copy of it i guess and has revealed basically some of the stuff inside so the Korra comic, as you can see here, is called Beach Wars. So the Korra comic is going to be the sort of Korra version of the beach episode. If we go into some of the other things here, we'll, we'll go over that in a second. You can see the inside page, along with the reveal that the Avatar section of this comic is actually just a preview 
for the Chibi comic, Ang's Unfreezing Day. This is Chibi Volume 1, Ang's Unfreezing Day. So this comic is now out in August, I think. Um, this is disappointing. This is, to me, full-on disappointing. Absolutely. I know they've done this before. The very first Avatar Free comic was a um, preview, basically, for The Lost Adventures. So, you know, this is effectively, in a way, what, what the free comic book stuff is usually for, in a way. That a lot of it, like half of the comics are sort of previews for books that are out. Some of them do go for exclusive stories. But especially based on last year's comic, I think everyone was expecting with the Avatar Korra double format that we'd just be getting two new short stories. And now, oh, this book that so many people just don't care about. I don't see anyone talking about Angst and Freezing Day because it's been so badly delayed. They put it in the free comic book day as a preview. I, I don't like that. I get technically it matches free comic book day because then you have a more serious story of the core one, I guess, is like a, a proper, you know, story. Then you have your more kids focused story for Ang. But I just don't like the marketing again of like you have normal Ang on the cover and it speaks to this idea of one, if this was the plan all along, why not put the Korra stuff on the cover? Imagine how fun a Korra beach themed comic cover would be and how excited people would be for the last couple of months waiting for the free comic book day book to come out knowing it was going to be beach themed versus this where everyone was sort of speculating like okay it's book three ang but like what are we doing here this could be interesting is it going to be like an air nomad focused story what's going on and then you reveal oh it's just the chibi stuff so it's the question is obviously why didn't they put the chorus stuff on the cover and then if it was to really highlight the chibi comic why isn't the the cover chibi as well why isn't it like a new piece of art with chibi ang to represent what's actually inside and it feels like this weird thing where they're just doing some weird marketing thing where they know like oh ang on the cover is more likely to be picked up or something like that but not chibi ang and not cora and that just feels kind of bad um as for the page itself from ang's on freezing day you can see here it's um it's not crazy over the top in that if it was chibi, you typically expect like all these sort of like non-canon character appearances of like Kiyoshi's the like PE teacher, Roku's in here as a teacher, uh, all these characters who are technically like spirits more heavily like interacting with them, um, all the cast and like they're all in different like designs and stuff like that. I think this is probably going to end up being canon but just very inconsequential ultimately that it, there'll be a very small takeaway from this overall um again the setting and stuff like that it's kind of weird are they committing to it being canon non-canon who knows but all that is happening here ang wakes up gets a letter from um you know Sokka basically saying stay in the house don't come out we'll be right back uh they're not they don't want ang to get in the way of what we know from the description is effectively the plans for his quote-unquote birthday because the description for Ang's and Freezing Day reveals that Ang doesn't know when his birthday is so it seems like they're going to use basically the day he was unfrozen from the iceberg as his new birthday and I guess this is that day again so they're basically celebrating his birthday. Could be fun but just the idea of a preview for a comic that's been so heavily delayed that if this comic had hit its original date, it would be out last July. So it's nearly a year on that like we're going to just get the preview for this, taking up the space of what could have been a proper like Avatar short story. So many things are just like, no, absolutely not. Especially because for comics preview pages are a normal thing and this may be being like a slightly bigger preview i'm not i'm not here for this at all i do not like this and i don't like the the communication um and how this has happened especially if potentially this comic has maybe been delayed for the sake of including it in this short story now i'm hoping that's not the case but add everything together and it feels like um that kind of seems to be maybe what happened. 
Um, but the other thing, obviously, is uh, this, the uh, preview page here for um, <clears throat> Beach Wars. So uh, it's, it's, it's overall pretty good. You know, uh, Katara is here. Toph is here. So that's nice. Uh, you can see uh, Janora, uh, Milo, Iki, uh, Opal, Bolin, and of course, Korra and Asami. We'll see if anyone else is there. Obviously, Mako is probably the main, like, where is he? Does he just get forgotten again? Is that the dynamic they're going for? Mako continuing to, but we'll see. Always good to see you, Toph. Uh, meh, I'm not thrilled to be back in Republic City, but getting to spend time with Opal is worth the hassle. And uh, that's all we really get there. The other page, though, if we look on the other side, does tell you a little bit more about it. And again, I'll ask the question with these free comic book day books. Why don't you just include this full description with the book when it gets announced? Why only include the first line which says nothing when you can include this whole extra thing that basically says what the book is? Enjoy preview of Angs on Freezing Day, a new original graphic novel for young readers. Can you imagine not knowing your own birthday? That's the situation for Aang, who was once frozen in an iceberg. Katara, Toph, Sokka, and Zuko have a plan to surprise him with a new special day to celebrate, but they'll have to work hard to keep it under wraps. In Beach Wars, Korra, Asami, and the rest of Team Avatar are having a nice relaxing day at the beach until Katara and Toph incite an all-out prank war. So again, shenanigans on the beach is what we're going for here, but it's the Republic City Beach, apparently, based on the, uh, the dialogue from Toph there. So that's kind of interesting. I have, don't think we've seen that location before, necessarily. Um... Prank Wars, we'll, we'll see what we get. They're saying Team Avatar is here, so I guess that, that would have to include Mako. So I'm guessing Mako will be here, but uh, he might show up later on. Um, but yeah, pranks and the fact that it's actually Katara and Toph who are the ones who are uh, inciting it uh, could be fun. Does it maybe seem like we're going to get anything like really notable necessarily? Who knows? But uh, it seems fun, but uh, definitely... A little bit of a cloud of disappointment over this book, just with the idea of like, oh, no ATLA story. And what it means is that the the Chibi comic now is, is it still remains like the only Avatar story this whole year. Because we, we were at least expecting the idea of like, okay, even if it's not canon, we'll have the free comic book day Avatar book. But now they're one and the same. So, uh, you know, potentially a full year with like, what, no, not a single proper piece of like avatar like ang focused you know content not great so just a lot of things going against this one i think uh, that just make it pretty unfortunate um uh, you know it is only the free comic i guess but it is very frustrating to see this happen definitely just with all the delays leading to this happening and that this book literally only can be in this comic because it was so badly delayed last year because it received like basically six months to a year's worth of delays it's the only possible way that this book can actually be in here because these books I, I suppose are pretty much locked in by about December which is when we find out about them and um, so at the very least that means that they had to know the book was not coming out last year but then for the book to still not be out by the time Free Comic Book Day actually comes around, they had to have known by like December that the book is not making even a May date. And it's just like, oh, what is happening here? Um, but it's weird because like we know now that this book, I guess, is done because we have preview pages and I'm guessing it's at least 10 preview pages. Why is this book still not out until August? Like if, if you're putting it in here to hype it up, should should the release not be like relatively close to free comic book day? I do not understand. Uh, it's a really badly done preview because again, the last time they did a preview, um, I think it was like the twenty eleven free comic book day book, um, had the the Lost Adventures preview, but it worked because I think free comic book day was like the month before the Lost Adventures came out or something like that. It was very close, um. I I don't get it. I really, really don't get it. So they're my thoughts on this. So in the comments, let me know what your thoughts are on the, the Yang Chen exclusive edition that looks to be an in-store exclusive, as well as uh, our first look at the free comic book day book. What are your thoughts on a beach-themed Korra story, uh, as well as, uh, I guess, technically our first look at the, uh, the Chibi comic. So uh, 
in the comments. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are, but that's been the video. Thanks for watching and bye.